Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to soundproof, or to be more technical, sound dampen between two legal rental apartments. Now what you're going to need to do the job is long sleeve shirt, pants, a serrated bread knife, it's cheaper than buying the rock saw knife, you can get this from the dollar store, gloves, and a mask. It doesn't need to be a filtered mask, it could also be just a paperback mask. Other rock saw products generally have an R value and they're used for thermal break in your outside walls. Now safe and sound is does have an R value, they don't advertise it on the packaging or online, it does have an R value of 11 so it will provide um, some means of thermal break but the main purpose of it is for sound dampening and fire rating. Throughout this process we're trying to achieve a sound transmission class rating of 50 or it's more commonly referred to an STC rating of 50. In order to get that you have to have two layers of rock saw and safe and sound insulation in your ceiling cavity. So your first layer is at the very top of the cavity flush with the floor and then you have a, a bit of an air gap and that also helps with the sound dampening and then your final layer at the very bottom flush with the bottom of the floor joist. And then you have resilient channeling and finally your drywall on top. Now the drywall, the size depends on your smoke alarms. If you have all your smoke alarms in both units and the common areas interconnected, then it only requires a 15 minute fire separation. So you can get away with using half inch uh, drywall, which is type X. That's very hard to find. You can't get it at the big box stores. Usually you have to go to a specialty store. So the easiest thing to use is 5 8 type X drywall or you can use two layers of half inch drywall. Now usually joy spacing in walls is 16 inches on center and the bad insulation comes size for that but here it's actually foot on center which is 10 inches so I like to cut mine an inch wider 11 inches that way there's still some compression and the rock saw will hold itself in the cavity. Now it's important when you're putting the rock saw in the cavity not to squish it too much or else you compromise the soundproofing capabilities. Now as you can see, this is an easy DIY project that anyone could do. And one more final thing that I want to mention is, if you're just doing this for your own recreational basement, it's up to you. You could decide whether you want to use one or two layers of rock saw insulation. Now the difference in STC rating, if you use one layer is 47 and two layers is 50. So you have to decide if getting that extra three or four points is worth it or if you want to spend that money elsewhere. It's also a good idea to soundproof the stairs between two units. That way when you have tenants or whoever lives upstairs coming in through the side entrance, you don't hear that hollow sound when they're walking on the stairs. It's pretty simple. Just put some safe and sound in the cavity. And boom! soundproof thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button and to stay connected subscribe to my youtube channel and you can also follow me on instagram